Miguel Angel Gonzalez is as a former, uh, he was a great champion when he was champion. And he's still a warrior. And when you're dealing with a guy with 50 wins, 50 something wins, and only three losses, and he, he lost to uh, Oscar De La Hoya and Kyle Kazu, and uh, he had a draw with Julio Cesar Chavez. You don't play around with somebody like that, and that's not a joke fight. So, you know, we're not buying into looking past this guy. We didn't come to camp for eight, nine weeks because we were playing this guy cheap. This is a serious fight to us. We're taking it serious, and we want to put on a spectacular performance against a great opponent like Gonzalez, and that's, that's the game. I mean, I've done some driving around here today. I mean, there's just nothing. Are you finding that this kind of atmosphere works great for you to really get focused and in tune for, for the task at hand? Well, any any um, place I met, I'm um, I'm always the same person. Um, that's all I do is stay in my room and um, play PlayStation. Um, that's basically what camp is: get up, run, train, play PlayStation. He's he's peaking right at the right time. He's starting to really really look sharp and. Uh, I think he's going to put on a, a spectacular show come September 4th. You see it, um, Cintron really is not on the radar at this point. No, I've been, man, I, um, I worked hard my whole career, and um, he's just going through half the stuff that I've been through in half of my career, and um, I'm not about to take a step back, I'm trying to go forward. Kermit, uh, I don't know much about him, you know, I'm just not hearing about him, to tell you the truth. Uh, He's not even on my agenda because I'm looking for bigger fights, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and the court of and and well, whatever his name is, Kermit <laughs> Citron, um, he's not a penalty to me. I can't, it's, it's all about that money now, you know. Um, and I wouldn't make a big fight, money fight. Fighting uh, Kermit Citron would be a step backwards because actually Kermit Citron is not even in Corey's league, not at this point. You know, he's a strong guy. He's a big, strong welterweight. But that's it. If, I mean, if him and Zab got together and, and, and he beat Zab Judah, then we definitely respect him and, and, and feel like he deserves a shot. You know, but uh, like I said, uh, who has he beaten? He fought Teddy Reed. Who is Teddy Reed?
Floyd, Floyd stepped up to the plate, and uh, he, he's, he's falling out. Now, he's got a really deep pool at 140 to get through, you'd think, to even think about a move to 47. But if the money was there, if the, if the parties could, could get together on it, is it something you would entertain? Most definitely, you know, most definitely if the money's there, I have no problem. Like I said, I'm not scared of no one. If they want some, they can get some. You got to take care of the business at 140 first. I haven't seen them clean the division out yet. I tell you exactly who we're looking for. We're looking for Costa Zoo, uh, uh, Mayweather, but uh, you know he, he he came to the press conference and you know did a put on a dog and pony show, but he hasn't mentioned Corey name since the press uh, conference. We like to move up and wait, and uh, if Shane Mosley doesn't get his head beat in again against uh, Winky Wright, like I think he will. If he wins that fight, we like to come up and fight somebody like him. We're even we're even uh, willing to go up and fight the winner of uh, Mayweather Trinidad. So I mean, we're willing to do whatever it takes to make the biggest fight and make the biggest money fight out there. That's that's what we're in the business to do.